Hello, hello, and welcome to the Passive Income with Content channel, where we talk about all content and how to use content to grow your business. And this is a question I get all the time. Where do I find images for my digital products? My info products, my social media posts, my printables, my book, my any digital content that I publish, my articles. How do I find images for for those and I'm going to show you five resources where you can get just that today. Please go ahead if you are watching on YouTube go ahead like comment and subscribe so you never miss an episode. All we do here is talk about valuable content and how to make money with it passively. Pretty good topic. Most people love it. So this training is for you if you want to make digital products online for passive income and if you are confused about how to get images for your online products and marketing. So if you're always at that confused state of like, where do I start if I want to get a particular image? I know before I developed the system and my resources, this was something that confused me and slowed me down. So I get this question all the time and that's why I wanted to make this video. So my very first resource, you might have heard this from me before, uh, but it's a site, it's called Pixabay and it's actually gotten really, really good over the years. All the images on Pixabay are free to use and they're all in the public domain. That's That means that you don't need to give credit to any of the, you know, the author of the, those images. You can just use them freely, type in whatever it is you're looking for. You can use these images freely and you could, um, you know, edit them as you please, whatever it is you want to do my favorite resource however you know you're not going to find is this is not going to be your end all solution that's why we have five resources you're going to need all five of these right this is not going to be like let me go to pixabay every time i need an image it's just not going to happen because they're they're not a stock image highly high quality image site they have basic images that you can use here and there but it's not going to satisfy all of your online need right so that's why we need the other sites here Two is we have PowerPoint icons. Now you guys know that I create a lot in PowerPoint. So I'm just gonna exit this presentation real quick and just show you what I mean. Now I use Office 365, so I always have the latest version of PowerPoint. Only $99 a year. It's probably the best tool that I have in my business. So if I go to insert and I go to icons, now I could go anywhere here and say I wanted this eyeball. I could insert that. And these are just cool images that you can use for any type of graphic. Like if you're doing a sales letter, if you're doing um, an article, whatever it is you can do. And I believe if you go and format the graphic, you can go to fill and you could change the color. So that's what makes this really cool because they're editable in a sense. And then I guess up here, they have a quick way that you can edit them. So I think that icons, I use icons a lot in my business and in my marketing. So that's one of my favorite things to do as well. So um, I'm not sure if Slide, Google Slides has the icon feature. It's something to maybe look at. A lot of icons though are free to use. If you want, um, just go and, and Google free use icons and they're all over the place. One of the places that that I like to get them is PowerPoint. Resource number three is Canva. And we've done tutorials on Canva. I'm not gonna be doing a hands-on demonstration on Canva because literally drag and drop, plug and play, and you can just make sure that you read the rights to the images that you can use on there. Um, it, it should be very clear. And uh, that's a great resource to get awesome images like flat hours, other icons, there's icons galore, you know, pictures of houses, whatever you, it is you want, you'll find a lot on Canva. Google, google.com. And I know what you're saying is like, oh, I, I can't use images off of Google. And that is correct, right? You can't just take any old image and use it on your marketing. I mean, you can, but you're risking getting sued um, for, you know, copyright and 
infringement or whatever, uh, basically stealing. So you can't just take any image and use it. And yes, you can go and you can look for the free use on it, Google. That's not what I'm talking about here. Let me just give you an example of what I am talking about. So one time I did a book, it was a children's book. The, one of the main characters was a squirrel and Mr. Squirrel got very popular <laughs> and I found the squirrel I think you know one of these might have been the one that I used so if I use if I took this like this squirrel right here you know and you know this guy gee that's fine you can even use something like this if you just made the squirrel um if you took away the background and used the squirrel in like a book or um whatever like a little video and you wanted to put a squirrel in the chances are that people aren't gonna say, hey, that's my squirrel. You know, obviously it's up to you. And the more that the squirrel looks like just a regular old squirrel that you wouldn't be able to put him in a lineup and find him, the better it is. So obviously you need to be a little bit careful. So I wouldn't use this squirrel because that is just too custom. And if somebody really took a picture of that squirrel and then saw it in your marketing somewhere, that would be a problem. But if you're just, you know, going for a random squirrel like this and you take away the background and you put them somewhere else, the chances of, you know, you getting caught or whatever are very, very low. Just you practice this smart and it's only for little things like this. So I wouldn't be doing this practice with every type of um, marketing that you do. So like if I use this squirrel, for instance, and took out the background, you know, it'd be very hard to trace it back. So, and of course, yeah, there's a dead one. We don't want that, <laughs> but you know what I mean? And you can use this and there's just so many free images of flowers, but the same thing with the flower. And then usually what I do when I you do use a Google image, I usually manipulate it somehow, meaning I take away the background just so it doesn't look identical to the one that's online. But you're not gonna have to do this. I probably gave this uh, as just like a backup, backup, backup if you really can't find an image. But if I went on pixabay.com and I typed in squirrel, let's see, there's tons of squirrels now. And these options weren't really available when um, I used Pixabay years ago when I wrote my squirrel book. So right now there's tons, like I said, this site has just gotten really, really good through the years. There's probably better options to not use Google, but use for, you know, images that you can get online where you have the rights to it or you don't have to worry about that or um, go ahead and which is the uh, the option for number five which is my favorite favorite resource and that's deposit photos i use this is usually my second resource if i don't find my free resource from uh, pixabay.com so i'll usually go pixabay let's see what they have then i'll go to deposit photos so deposit photos is one of the best stock image sites that i've ever come across um, number one because if you did want to purchase individual images like meaning you don't want to pa purchase a package or you don't want to be on like a monthly subscription you can um, buy images for really really cheap i tend to use images all the time in my marketing and i'm on very affordable plan it's like i think 30 bucks a month i don't know how many images you get but they do roll over so they don't penalize you if you don't use all of your images in one month so uh, i love the pot i'm always on it and i have a bunch of images that because i just don't use all of them every single month but i like having that resource and I just like having the ability to find an amazing image and download it and use it. So not that hard when it comes to images, you know, don't get caught up in this. And it's it's nice to have just set resources where all you do is go here, one of five places or a couple out of five places, and then there's your solution. And of course, if you wanna go deeper into how to make more digital products, how to make money with digital products, please go ahead and check out my webinar, my workshop on that I called Tiny Content Giant Profits. That's at debdrum.com slash TCGP workshop. Um, lots of folks are loving it and getting in. Let me just 
All right, and then a recap is of the five places, Pixabay, PowerPoint icons, Canva, Google. Now that I talk about Google, very, very limited, but just know that you kind of have an option there when you need it. And then the ultimate option is deposit photos when you just need an awesome image and it's very affordable, whether you're paying one time or you're in the monthly membership where you need enough images to justify that. What are the copyright restrictions on PowerPoint icons? You'd have to kind of look look that up. But again, I don't think you're gonna run into many to too many problems with that. Um, changing a picture to an illustration. I know there are a lot of cool apps that do that, Marie. Um, I don't know, like you can look up like exactly that and you can probably find a bunch of apps, um, probably good, some good Mac apps if you have a Mac, uh, that, that's really fun to do. And I have, I've done training on this in the past specifically with uh, children's books and it's really, really cool. Um, you can also convert images into coloring book images, which is nice. Janet says Creative Fabrica is a web-based tool and super affordable. Yeah, and a lot of this stuff is really fun. I love when I don't have a problem with images like I used to because it stumped me. Um, it was a headache. Now it's just fun for me because I have these five resources. So five resources that I gave you today on the screen are my resources. They're not just like made up. They're my go-to. That's just all I do. That makes my job really, really easy. All right. That's it for today. Thank you so much. I had so much fun. I'll see you on the next training, everyone. Bye-bye.